Hey everyone, it's Onglor. Welcome to the video. Glad to have you here. Today we'll be playing Sven the Rogue Knight, a class mod for Darkest Dungeon. I want to start off by showing you guys his moveset and the skills I chose personally to go with. So, let's get started. First up, we have his ability Obliterate. As you can see, it's very straightforward and it can hit position 1 or 2. Up next, I decide to go with Great Cleave because it hits positions 1 through 4 at the same time. And come on, with a name like Great Cleave, how can you not use that ability? Up next, we have Warcry. It buffs the party, 11% protection, 8% crit, and you buff yourself at the same time. That is a very cool ability to have in your arsenal. For this playthrough, I also decide to go with God's Strength, where I buff myself as well, plus 40% damage, 11% max HP for 4 rounds. But looking back, I should probably run with another ability, which I will do some other time. But for now, let's take a look at his other abilities that are in his arsenal. Up next, we have Helmbreaker. As you can see, it hits position 1 or 2, doing a good amount of damage, and also debuffs the target, minus 16% protection which is really nice storm hammer which now i think about it i should have took this ability his positions one and two at the same time and has an opportunity to stun your targets and this ability black king bar is a free action it buffs self plus 65 percent all resistance cure bleed blight debuffs and how cool is that this guy is the full package so since we had a look at the abilities now let's embark in our adventure and hopefully everybody comes back alive now when I first noticed Sven or saw him in the mod workshop for this game I really liked the way he looked and after taking a look at the skills Sven came with I had to try him out every single skill that he comes with seems very very cool and it's powerful benefits you and the entire party so no matter what skill set you decide to go with you can use it at any time and it's always going to be useful that's one of the things i like about sven because some of the mods don't get me wrong i like them they are very in-depth and you have to plan for when you use the moves but sven he goes in hits things then goes home and this is one of the moves i chose to pick great cleave as you can see Looks like he's swinging a baseball bat trying to hit a home run. I mean, how could I not run with that? That is totally my play style. And also, it feels good to get the Abomination out along with the Houndmaster because I don't really play them too often, but I really do like these two classes. Okay, so everything is dying so fast. I really wasn't expecting that cleave to kind of knock off everything, but it did, and... Oh boy, there goes a nice big crit out of nowhere. That always happens in Darkest Dungeon, so I really shouldn't be surprised. As you can see here, I was going to use Obliterate just to simply take this body out of the way, but it does hit pretty hard. And unfortunately, I haven't gotten any trinkets that were just for Sven, but I'm hoping to change that soon. As you can see here, he has some really good buffs for just himself and also his party as well which I'll be using later when we fight another mob. Now I think about it, I should have used that first, right? But, you know, it is what it is. This map layout is really crappy. I don't like going all over the place like this due to the amount of torches that I am carrying. It honestly feels like I'm in a medium type of journey here. I would like to do some longer ones or missions for you guys some of these days, but I like to do the short ones just to, you know, let you guys watch it and hopefully enjoy it and then go about your business. Okay, so what's all these little gerbils here in front of me or whatever? Okay, so I really like the blight for the abomination. Just throws up on everything and gives it the business. Ooh, that was a really good dodge right there. Oh, two in a row. I'm really surprised because I didn't put any dodge trinkets on my healer at all not that i can remember i think i put stress damage relief all right just gonna use great cleave again and just one foul swoop everything is gone but i promise as soon as we engage in some other fights i will be using those 
buff Sven has to show him off a little bit more. Okay, this map layout is not only really crappy, but there really isn't too much to fight. And, oh, these guys again, I really hate these mobs so much. Because somebody in my party is going to get the Crimson Curse. And for some reason, I just can't prevent it. It always happens. So I'm going to try to kill everything and make it suffer as much as possible. So let's start off by vomiting on them. Okay, so I'm going to use God's Strength for it. It's a... Uh, buff it himself and the animation looks really cool i should have buffed the party now i think about it why didn't i do that first well at least i dodged a couple attacks in a row so that's good and the slow death just popped in but i'm a little bit upset at myself right now it's like why didn't i buff the party first okay just make things more difficult for myself oh nice hit i think the bleed should kill him alone Honestly, I was waiting for him to get the Crimson Curse. I'm surprised he didn't get it. Oh, but he did. Okay, excellent. So, there goes one party member with the Crimson Curse. Alright, let's finish him off. Throw those chains at him. Really? I thought that would finish off that mob. Okay, so we're going to use Obliterate here. Boom. There it is. Whack. Right in the face. Okay, so let's heal up here a little bit. And I actually meant to heal the party right there, not just him, but, oh well. Okay, so let's give a little, I'm going to do some stress relief here because I really don't have anybody else to relieve stress. Just in case something happens, I want to keep people hovering around a 3 to 4 bar. Ooh, I was honestly expecting her to get Crimson Curse as well, I'm so glad she didn't. Okay, let's see here, 8, I was hoping that would kill it, but... Alright, so I'm going to wait to use that because that's a great party buff as well. You know, he hits really hard, but it doesn't feel like he crits very often. But, uh, oh well, can't have it all right, but the, at least the damage numbers are high. Alright, I want you to search the crate. Oh, excellent. Alright, so let's see here. Man, I am really disliking this map layout. So... Hopefully, we can find some more things to battle along the way. And my party, man, you guys are eating a lot of food. But yeah, I remember the handful of times that I actually played Sven. I had a great time with him. Honestly, when I play any type of game, I tend to gravitate towards a class that wields a big-ass sword or a sword and a shield. So Sven is right up my alley. And I think I put some pretty good trinkets on him i'd have just looking forward to when i can actually pick some up that are made for him because i am so cheap when it comes to spending my gold in this game that i really don't buy trinkets in the wagon when they're available and i totally should and that was my fault right there because i thought i was going to disarm the trap and you guys are eating a lot of food all of a sudden it seems like maybe it's just me but i you know brought a little bit extra I do so now simply because I don't want my party starving. Okay, so there's no need to turn him into beast mode right now. Because if I'm correct, I haven't played him in so long, the Abomination. I think it stresses out the party a lot, right? I don't remember. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. Very nice, my friend. Ooh, Animus. Very good. Okay, so let's heal up the party this time. There we go. I actually did what I wanted to do. Okay, so... Warcry buff party, 11 protection, plus 8 crit. And bam, there we go. I like how you have the option with Sven to either buff solely himself or himself in the party as well. So that's one of the features I like about this class a lot. And honestly, he just looks really cool. Okay, so when I get a chance, I really need to level up. As a matter of fact, I don't remember if I actually leveled up the... That guy's stress heal but i gotta do that sometime oh you're actually stunned okay so let's see here Ooh, finished off okay so i think that's all the battles unfortunately i the map was just so long with only a handful of, of battles it's kind of disappointing but at least i got to show off sven and how powerful he is so that's the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoy it and I highly recommend you head on over to the Steam Workshop and try it out for yourself. 
just as a note here, I did get asked by some other people about some other class mods that I did. If you don't see them available, well, if you're not playing, for, I think it had to do with another platform, but you should also check Nexus mods just in case you don't see it on Steam. So make sure to check that site as well. They have some really good mods there. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care.